Greetings. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the basic RAID Tracker functionality and uh, how it interacts with the Guild Launch Rapid RAID system. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put item costs into the RAID Tracker uh, so that you can track how much DKP a person spends. And uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to get the XML string itself so that you can import it properly into the Rapid RAID system. In order to bring up the RAID Tracker screen, you type slash RT into your chat window, and this will bring up the screen. Um, I've got some RAIDs that are just test RAIDs here, and first thing I'm going to show you is how to put an item value. Uh, if we go to the RAID and we look at the items, then I can click to edit the note. Here's the black and defiance gloves. I'm going to edit that note. If I put a number in here, any number, um, 12, you know, 10, 9, anything, the Ray Tracker import will import that as the value that the person who the item's assigned to spent. So 12 DKP or whatever. Um, if you put a number and a string, it won't import. It only imports if there's just a number there. So you set that, and now you can see the note pops up. Say this person spent 100 DKP. That will import as the item value. If you right-click a RAID and then do Show DKP String, then you hit Control C. You now have the string that you need to paste into the Rapid RAID import system. That's all there is to it. You can do this with any any RAID that you have. Just right-click Show DKP String, and there it is. Hit Control C and now you can paste it into a web browser. So that's the basic Rapid RAID, CT RAID Tracker functionality. Uh, I've shown you how to add item values and how to get the XML string, and uh, happy rating.